model rockets 321 welcome back to another video today we're going to take a look in rockets of the world a modeler's guide by peter alway i may have covered this video in, the, in this book in the past sorry about that i may have covered this book in the past we're just going to take another look through it because it's you know it's so great it's one of the one of the great books considered like the bible when it comes to model rocketry this is the spiral bound version it don't have wood addition i'm not sure this is just my use kind of the one i use if i'm going to scale something but i also have another hardback bound one that's um a really clean copy um and actually there may be i may have another one stashed somewhere buried in some books of stuff because i i you know i have you know you have stuff you get stuff over time and then you want one in case something happens whatever but model rockets i mean uh rockets of the world saturn 5 on the cover full color picture probably apollo 11 possibly could be apollo 11 but yeah we're going to go inside the book so starting out we have um yeah so here we go table of contents coming up so we got acknowledgments there should be yeah copyright 1993 this is 1993 one so this is a very um this may be number one i'm not sure but it's just you know it's kind of be just to spy a couple of the you know, it's just a little beat up but it's like i said it's good this is a working uh book i don't um i take care of it but it's definitely one i would put on the workbench like this and and have fun with so here we go we got the a3 i'm not going to go through every rock i'm just going to skip around a3 which was a version of the v2 it's very similar as you can see the fins are somewhat different then you have the v2 which is the a4 that the design kept changing so then we got to the v2 black and yellow version i guess already at white sands yeah we already united states already have them had them by this time this is germany and usa where the book started off so here's your plans when you don't do any kind of scaling to get it correct there you go that's where you'll do all your thing get all your stuff happening as we continue we got more v2 type rockets you got the v2 then you got the two and three different paint schemes and color patterns and even a decal you want to scale it they give you the dimensions or the sizes and then you have the bumper versions and all these different type of v2s this is german and u.s somewhat collaboration after the war took those scientists brought them over here and then we got buy bonds it was all about buying bonds back then so here we go more white sand stuff so we're starting off with the v2 as you can see a couple launch photos there you go the buy bonds version launching it says it um 59 said carry seven air sample bottles and three canisters and some sound financial advice <laughs> to the upper atmosphere in 1952 so yeah buy bonds that's your sound financial advice as it says so it's going to skip ahead so we got the ortrog another type of rocket right here another scale type rocket this is all scale so they need to even say that so we got rockets of USSR, Russia, and Ukraine. So here we got the V2A, another version of the V2. Here we go, USSR, V2A. If you didn't know, they had one. There it is right there. So we got the V5V vertical. It's that little dome-shaped payload on top, as you can see right there. That'd be a cool one to do, to build. The V5V vertical. So yeah, just all types of rockets, all type of rockets. Just it says Bulgaria, Hungary, East Germany, Poland, USSR, and Czechoslovakia. <laughs> I butchered that, but I'm like, you know it. I'm sure it's why I got to pronounce it. I screwed that up. But anyway, I'm gonna move on to the M100B. This is a Russian rocket here. A Russian rocket there, one launching. So I'm on page 35 right now, and there are many pages to this book. So I'm just going to grab a section, and let's see what I open up to. United States, okay. So the Arabi 150 and the Arabi 300. Right there. I'll go back a page so we can see the real picture of it. So here it is. The Arabi High and the Arabi 150. There it is. I'll do that again. I'll skip the grab right here. Move forward a little. Loki rockets. So we got the Loki and the Loki Raccoon. So there it is. So we have the Loki and the Raccoon. Super Loki. The Loki Dart. 
Yeah, there's a whole family of these low-key rockets. Whole family of them. There you can see the plans for scaling. The Arcus. I love the Arcus. I have one. I have the um, Aerotech Arcus. So there's the Arcus right there. It's the real version. We're going to go into its launch tube. It's called a Breach Launcher. Yep, so there we have that. So here's a little Atlantic Research Corporation logo or cartoon. Something you can scale and put on your model. They don't show where it goes though. Where does it go, Mr. Allway? You didn't say where it goes. It said, no, don't see where, where to put it. But on this page it does. Uh, maybe, yep, there it is right there on the cone. Sorry about that, Mr. Allway. It goes right there on the cone. You did have it. So here's more Arcus models. Put your little panels and things like that. Another plate. Goes on there. Here's some more Arcus is launching. Here's quite a few Arcuses. So here's a Sparrow HV Arcus. So you got a Sparrow booster, then you got a Arcus up top. And then you have the Iris, which is my certification rocket. You can watch that video at the end of this video. I'll put it on here just talking about my certification. I use the Iris. So here we go with the Iris. There's the Iris with its booster. Pretty cool with the red fin version. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Single stage Tomahawk sounding rocket. Pretty cool. Got a QS5 Tomahawk. I like the Tomahawk also. That's another good one. So, yeah, these are whole, all pretty good, pretty nice rockets right here. Tomahawks and the D region Tomahawk. Um, yeah, cool stuff. Sandia Tomahawk. So, let's skip up. Here we go with the Nike boosted sounding rocket. Nike's, Nike Cajun. So let's skip ahead a little, let's skip up. United States got so many rockets, they got a bulk of this book. <laughs> I mean, you know, you can't get some other countries, but United States, wow, so lots, lots and lots of rockets. So here we have the Delta B and E, Delta family of rockets. Let's see US and Canada collaboration. Let's get right before this. Oh, yeah, just more Delta. A whole bunch of Delta stuff, Delta. So here we have the MX-774 High Rock. Yeah, very similar to the V2. Fins are slightly different though, but very similar. It has a very similar look to the V2. Matter of fact, it says intended as an American version of the V2. The MX-774 High Rock design emerged as a far more original design. The most significant innovation was balloon construction, unlike the V2. The repellent tanks were not separated containers, but part of the airframe. So had its differences. America. Alright, so here we're moving into what we got here, the Atlas score. Yeah, the Atlas score. See that booster is different. Then not the booster, the uh the cone. It's different. Then you get to the Mercury Atlas, the one we all everybody knows about. So you got your Mercury capsule up top, your Atlas booster, and the Atlas missile on the bottom. What else we got? This I'd like to see the next page. I don't want to skip too far now. What's the next? Oh, right after that, yeah. Mercury Atlas. So here it is, full color scheme. Very shiny. As you all know, the SD's version come with that wrap, which I don't have. I'd like to have an Atlas, a Mercury Atlas. I if I can get one, I'd get one. Cool rocket. So here we have the Atlas Agena. Mercury stuff. Atlas Centaur. Scout. I think the Scout do have some explosions. I think they had some trouble with this one. Well, a lot of this stuff had trouble, but I think these. Are, I, think I remember seeing a big, massive explosion with a uh, Scout rocket. Maybe. Maybe. And you have the little Joe 2. Here's the little Joe 2. Boilerplate version, all silver. Bunch of little Joe 2 stuff here. It's my all time favorite rocket, probably. Then we got the Jiminy Titan. Jiminy Titan. Titan 2C, which I skipped the page, so here we are. More just Jiminy, Jiminy Titan. The way to get your colors and your whole scheme right if you're doing scale competitions or anything. So I'm going to skip forward, guys. We're going to jump ahead. Let's go here to Brazil, the Sonda. Sonda 2. Nice sounding rocket. There it is in action. Go back a couple pages. Australia, 
I like these fans. I always like this fin with that shape. It's pretty cool. Yeah. The high altitude density. Had. The Had rocket. Uh, this is pretty cool. The Orion 2. You could easily see how this could easily be like a, a certification rock, like a, a three. You could so you could do the Orion two, you know, if you're a certified level three. That's yeah, definitely a level three size rocket. I mean, he's up on the ladder and got this rail launcher, but something that can be done. So, all right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. Thanks for stopping by. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. Be sure to check the links. Get a logo T-shirt. Model Rocks 321, show your support. You send me a picture, I'll put you on my Instagram and I'll let people know that you got the t shirt. This is Model Rocks 321. Check that out. That's my black rant. Not without the booster, but the black rant. Model Rocks 321, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Catch you guys in another video. Be sure to visit the Model Rockets 321 Space Shop for logo tees, mugs, and other space related merchandise.